Hello everyone, and welcome to the William P. Faust Public Library's Next Adult Take It Home Craft. Today, we will be painting watercolor gradients. To make your Take It Home Craft, you will need the following supplies. A pencil, a ruler or other straight edge, watercolor paint, watercolor canvas or paper, a cup of water, a paintbrush, and some paper towels just in case. Your craft kit contains the following items. Four sheets of watercolor paper, a paintbrush, and a watercolor paint tablet. To start, use your pencil and ruler to draw a light border on your watercolor paper. Make sure the lines are as light as possible so you can't see them through the watercolor later. I personally recommend about a half inch margin, but you can do just about anything that you're comfortable with. Regardless, this frame will guide your first brush strokes. Next, wet your brush and mix it with your watercolor paint. You want to start with the darkest paint possible on the edges and work your way in. Try to make sure the same amount of color is applied to both sides of your canvas. If you start to run out of paint on the brush, just add a bit of water and more paint and pick up where you left off. As you move closer to the center, the paint should get lighter. Depending on how much paint you apply will determine how strong your watercolor gradient is. If possible, leave a little bit of white in the center for the best contrast. To make sure you're blending your hues correctly, add a bit of water with no paint to the brush and continue with the horizontal strokes. That will smooth out any streaks that you might have made with your watercolor paint. As you paint, here are a few recommendations. Try to make sure that your paint reaches all the way to the edges of your pencil line so you get the most rectangular painting possible. Don't be afraid to go back and add a darker color to either end of your canvas if you feel like the gradient's been lost over time. Finally, don't work your painting to death. If it looks nice while it's wet, just let it dry and give it some time. If you add too much paint or too much water, you could lose the gradient and end up with a solid color instead. Once you're done painting, it takes some time for watercolors to finish drying. Place your painting somewhere safe and out of reach of children and pets. Once it's done drying, erase what pencil you can and sign it. Thanks for watching everyone. Make sure to pick up your watercolor ticket home craft today at the Westland Public Library. They're limited supply and first come first serve, so act fast. Join us next month for our next ticket home craft.